Yellow duckies, and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. My name is Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. So, I got something to talk about today, guys. Um, I have spent a lot of time in the world of Sandrock now, and I don't regret any moment of it. I'm loving every little bit of it. But there is one problem. So, in one of the most recent news updates about Sandrock, they discussed some changes coming to the upcoming update. But, they mentioned something. And it made me question a few things. They mentioned that the August update is set currently in August slash September. And I don't really have anything new to do. Now... It's kind of been building like this for a while. I have been making the most of it with the museum and making sure to get all the artifacts and investigating the land and seeing the different layouts and, and different people and everything. But let's be honest, guys, by this point in time... <laughs> By this point in time, I don't have much more to show you guys. And as heartbreaking as it is, I'm not sure if you all would just be interested in seeing standard everyday stuff. I mean, I know that you've already watched a few of the episodes that I have had like that, but they were always in the midst of working on something else. So, what I'm saying is, I might be at a point where I need to take a break. So, I'm currently considering taking at least a week off. Now, this could change. Um, it could be longer. It could be shorter. It could be that I decide to make Sandrock now one of my normal uh, rotation until I get to a point where there's more stuff. Because what's the point of having a video every day if there really isn't that much to show you all? But I do want your opinions on this. You see, I love this game. I love being able to spend time in this world. It's so relaxing and it gives me somewhere where I can just come and talk to you all. And I love every moment of that. But I also know that there's a difference between quantity of content and quality of, of content. So, this is what I'm asking of you guys. I'm going to take minimum a week break off this game. And that will give you guys a chance to talk it out in the comments below. Do you want me to continue with Sandrock? Doing everyday stuff, preferably maybe down to like three days a week, say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, until I have something new to show you. And that would be extra videos, like they would be same time as I have them now, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, until either the new expansion comes out or something new happens, or not expansion, sorry, my I keep going to that, but the new update. Um, 
Or is there perhaps another game that you guys would like to see in the meantime? Like, honestly, I also have, but have not really gotten around to making a lot of videos on Sunhaven, which is actually up to quite a bit of content now. And I could do those as an everyday video until I finish content from them or the update happens for Sandrock. Or any other game for that matter, any other game that's already out. I was hoping that this one would last a little while longer and I could possibly get into one of my other upcoming farming sims that I have set up for later this year, but unfortunately they are quite a bit later this year. Um, just to give you a hint at future possibilities, I have um, upcoming I will be doing coverage for uh, Coral Island. I already have my setup and myself set up. I was pretty early in the Kickstarter and I have supported them as far as main game release. So that is October 11th. I also have um, the Song of the Prairie. That's a bit farther out. There's an upcoming uh, Final Fantasy based farming sim that I absolutely love the look of, but that won't be out until November. But as far as games now, I'm sure there are quite a few out there that you guys might want to see on a regular basis. Um, I have quite a few myself. Uh, not necessarily even just farming sims. I'm open to everything. I am a variety gamer, after all. Um, so, you know, just leave a comment. Uh, your opinion on whether Sandrock should continue with everyday com everyday events and, and just generalized stuff. Or if you wouldn't mind something filling in the gap in between. And what's more, what you would like to see. Whether it be another farming sim, a whole different other game, I have quite the range available to me. And there's always the possibility of getting something else. If I can find it for an affordable price. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But as far as the rest of today's episode, I wanted to go over some possibility of like new tips, new trick, some tips and tricks for newcoming players and just go over some beautiful things that we have discovered while playing um, so far. So I am going to go ahead and go to sleep for tonight and then we'll get into that tomorrow in game All right. So, first things first, your workshop. It's going to be where you're spending the majority of your time. Initially, you don't really need to plan out that much. You start off with your work table, not an intermediate, but your basic work table your water tank, and you're good to go. Next thing in, is, a, is a step up, 
would be a normal furnace and you just work from there. But always, always consider your space. I ended up doing quite the change around after getting all of the land that I could. Which, I mean, honestly, is probably your best bet. Because, let's be completely honest, as I said, this is where you're going to spend a lot of your time. Another thing of note, I know I have to go and get the Chase of Memories detailed started. Um, I'm gonna clean their stuff up later. Make use of the holidays. It's where a lot of citizens are going to be kind of gathered together throughout the day. So whenever a holiday is around, gather up gifts. Give them to as many people as you can. And don't be afraid to try out some new things with people. You really can't say for certain if somebody's going to like something now and then it get changed later, but at least for the moment, you can try out quite a few different things with everybody, preferably food, which comes to another spot. Make sure to get recipes. Lots of recipes. As many recipes as you can come across for not just cooking, but for crafting. As soon as you have the goals available, get all the extra crafting recipes from the Commerce Guild. It will really, really, really help you out. Even if you don't fully have access to everything just yet. I know, I'm going over quite a lot in a short amount of time. But that's kind of how things go in Sandrock as well. But they don't have to. So, something of note that you can see on certain loading screens. If you feel the game is going too quickly for you, and it's stressing you out, go into your options, and right at the top is the game speed. You can adjust it as you like. You can either go slower, or you can go faster. It is all up to you. This is something that I really haven't seen in many other games. So make use of this. It is a wonderful tool. Um, you will want to get a basic cooking station pretty quickly, because 20 days in is when the mysterious man arrives. And I'm not sure if they've changed it, because I had this happen on his first visit to me. But as soon as you have the cooking station researched... He will give you a quest to cook something for him. Now, technically in the end you don't lose the ability to get this item. You can still get it. Because Owen, even if you don't, takes advantage of the opportunity and he will be able to sell it in his saloon. You can still get the recipe and cook it on your own, but you won't get the quest reward, which unfortunately I didn't get the quest reward. I was a bit too slow. Um, let's see. Ah, yes. 
Arvio and his general store are going to be your best friends from the start. You will want to stock concealer. Because, at least in the beginning, you may not make it all, um, all the way back to your bed each night. Particularly when you're trying to stock up on mining materials and you lose track of time. I've done this many, many times. It's frustrating, but what can you do? Currently, as far as I'm aware, the town and the trash in town are not really that useful. You can make some gold collecting trash, which is great when you're first starting out. But I'm not sure if it'll have a, a better use once we get closer to full game. It may. They may have something planned. I am not sure. I'm n not sure, and I don't ha really have the the a way in to figure out these things. So just keep that in mind. You may want to stock up, or you may just want to sell them. Currently, marriageable, m marriable and dateable uh, characters are limited, but you can find out who they are from the social tab, which unfortunately mine wasn't. There we go. Mine loaded. Anyone who has hearts available at this current state of the game is dateable. Now, because I am in the very beginning of the game and there isn't an update to it yet, there are not that many quests available for these people. Amira has quests available. Arbyu has some quests available. Mian has some quests available. Uh, Elsie has some quests available. But other than that, as far as I am aware, Ernest, Fang, Unsur, uh, Grace, Chi, and Heidi do not have quests available at this current time. Keep in mind, this is before the first main update. The first main update, set for currently August to September of this year, will include some more of these quests. It may also open some more romanceable opportunities. One of the latest things that was added to the Kickstarter later in development was that almost every character is going to be romanceable. Keep that in mind as to who you want to become best friends with. I seriously doubt they'll make X romanceable. Apologies. <laughs> also, currently, there are two characters that are not added into the game. One of which, or at least two characters who are not added into the game. One of which was the extra female romanceable, I believe. And the other is the carpenter. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly what the carpenter is going to do for us. But I do know the Carpenter is related to Danby. <sighs> Who only seemed to come into the game after early access started. <laughs> so keep that in mind too.
pets also really aren't that available right now. There's the suggestion of them. In particular, Banjo, with his quests, came in pretty early in the game. Basically, as soon as early access came in. Now, you can't adopt Banjo yet. I have tried. But it is suggested that when he's fully incorporated, you can. I suggest Banjo. Although there is going to be a dog added in. So you have options. And the possibility of having both. I would say make sure to have the main quest as your focus. Main quest opens up the opportunity to go to a lot of different places in the game. And gives you opportunities for some other things in the game too. It will mean that you may put townsfolk on the back burner for a bit. But, it means that you'll be able to access resources a lot easier. Uh-oh. I'm a ghost. Uh... Holidays are pretty self-explanatory. For the most part. Don't you do it? No. Why? I don't want to be one of the first ones caught. No. no. There we go. Resource gathering in early game is your best friend. Make sure to stock up on chests. And really pay attention when the tutorials are given. Because I didn't even realize that I could hit um, hardwood and deadwood until pretty late on. Oh, and cactus, as we have seen, while inside the town area, are protected. Once you have access to the desert, you're good to go. You can take out as many of those bad boys as you want.
fair. I blend right. No one will ever know. If I've gone quiet, I'm just thinking of things. I'm trying to think of other things to say. Honestly, one of the main things I would say is have an adventurous spirit. Explore as many places you, as you can. Open every door, open every chest that you can. get to know the town and your path around it but always make use of yak mouse stops or as much as you can they are actually much faster than just walking Taha. I am the winner. And now, I am the hunter. Okay, so thankfully I actually paid attention to quite a bit of surroundings. Uh, okay. Make use of the little bonuses that they give you for holidays. They're really meant to be there for your amusement and your use. Whoa. Okay. But don't be a terrible shot like I am. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Turn it. Okay. Random jerky is your friend. In the beginning, random jerky is very much your friend. Ooh. Ooh. I knew something seemed fishy there. Aha! Good. 
No shaking. I should have done something there. I mean, overall, this tip I can do, and I can say, have fun. Enjoy the game as it's meant to be enjoyed. A game. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. This fishing lantern. It looks kind of L shaped. Thank you. 
I may actually have tea leaves on me. Another thing of note, keep in mind, if you're joining in the game in early access, it's not in its final stage. This is not how it's going to be exactly when it's released. And you may want to restart when it is fully released. There's nothing wrong with that. How you want to play is how you want to play. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. guys Oop. I know this episode was a little bit longer than we normally do particularly lately There is one more thing I'd really like to do before we go about leaving Sandrock for right now. Everybody's gonna come and leave gifts. I'll pick them up later. But for right now, let's kind of climb the mountain and get ourselves a really good view of Sandrock again. Just one more time. This isn't something that a lot of people would do. Because it's not commonly shown in the game. Mountain climbing is not exactly the biggest, po most popular thing to do. And I don't blame most people for not doing it. It's kind of breaking the boundaries a bit. But... You want to get the best view. Sandrock... Sometimes, you gotta bend the rules a bit. There we go. That's our town. Sandrock. We will be back. We're not leaving it forever. But, for now, this is an amazing view. I have an amazing town that's only got so much more to go. And it's gonna grow. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye.